There's a large mansion beyond the gate over there. I wonder if that's the second crime scene. That's probably it. Let's go inside. It's closed, as expected. Are you sure? like a haunted mansion. Uh, I hope there aren't any ghosts around. I have a feeling they'll appear this time. I've been meaning to ask, but aren't you kind of a ghost yourself? The incident occurred about three months ago. The victim was Ali Hohen, the owner of this mansion. He had no family and lived alone. The mansion is now empty and dilapidated. The crime scene is in the study near the back. Let's go. The Nailman killings had another common factor, besides the locked room. The first person to find the body was always the same person. That worshiper from church? Do you suspect him too? What he said did make sense. He's been obsessed with the nail man and had access to the names of potential victims. It's not too surprising for him to be the first on the scene each time. I guess I shouldn't assume things going into this. That's right. It's down this hallway. The crime scene is in the room on the right side. There's little time. Let's head straight there. Your partners now just because you held hands with my master. I'll have you know, Master and I are connected on a much deeper level. Don't make it sound so suggestive. Feels like a jump scare is coming up. So this is the study where the crime took place. Oh, it's open. I wonder if the lock was broken at the time of discovery here too. There's nothing left here either. It's all cleaned up. I don't want to do it, but I suppose I can share my post-cognition again here. Are you sure? Don't make a big deal out of it. Just make it quick. That's true. It a the crime scene of the murder is vividly brought to life before us. It all happens in silence as though awakening from an eternal slumber. But the corpse will never wake up again. Even if the corpse did awaken, the nails pinning him down would prevent him from rising. The door is the only entrance and exit to the room. There are no windows and the vent is small. I don't see any escape routes from the locked room. Maybe the doll nailed to the wall holds the answer to this bizarre mystery. The in oh, but on a closer look, 
there's a mark left by a thin string on the back of his neck. It couldn't have been the rope that was used to strangle him. The thickness is completely different. There are two different types of string marks on the body. But even then, it'd be odd to only have marks behind his neck. And why do the strings have different thicknesses? Anyway, it's an important piece of evidence. The victim is a well-built man, approximately 30 years old. The corpse here is also covered in nails. His appendages and chest are all nailed to the floor. The owner of this mansion made his fortune in real estate from an early age. But along with aggressive land sharking and other illicit transactions, he made shady deals with Amaterasu Corp. There are several reasons he'd be hated. A doll with his name on it was bound to be nailed in the church forest. I wonder how the person who cursed him feels now that he's actually dead. Perhaps they feel no responsibility. They just hopped on the urban legend bandwagon. Is that really the case? Wait, this is odd. Hmm? Did you find something? Look closely. The length of the nails driven into the corpse are all slightly different. The length isn't the problem here. It's how hard they were hammered in. What do you mean? The nails driven into the lower torso went through the body and into the floor. But the nails in the upper torso did not penetrate all the way through the body. But why would the culprit not hammer the nails in as hard on the upper body? That's not the only unnatural thing. Take a look at the blood. The nail wounds on the lower torso appear to be bleeding sideways. But the upper torso wounds are bleeding vertically down toward his waist. The blood flows differently between the upper and lower body? Maybe the upper and lower torsos are different people, and they were smushed together after death. That's disturbing. near the nose. Looks like a string rubbed against it. How did this mark get here? Yeah, I see. Hmm. 
Hmm. It shouldn't even. Oh. See, you should. Fit me. I. The door. This is the map. This. But there are hundred posts I have a known. Right. Remember, e but also what was looks like there's nothing left to check. gathered enough evidence. Though it appears complicated at first glance, the answer is simple. Huh? Uh, Halara, did you already solve the locked room mystery? What? You haven't? There's no way to solve it with what we have. How is the room locked? It's unfit for one detective to ask another that question. For the sake of your own pride, you must figure it out. Unless you'd like to hire me to do it for you, it won't come cheap. I'll figure it out myself. It's really all about the money with Halara. The longer I'm with Halara, the deeper into debt I'll get. It's starting to scare me. Now, let us be swift. Next up is our last crime scene. Wait! wait! The next one is the art gallery in Gima District. We're running low on time, so we must hurry. Right. The chief's in danger after all. due to special circumstances. The murder occurred only about a month ago. But I'm certain the crime scene has been cleaned up like the others. Not that it matters to me. But wait! It's not a good idea to break into the art gallery! Hmm? Did you say something? <laughs> That's our hello! The crime scene is deep inside the art gallery. It's one of many storage rooms. Come, I won't allow time to be wasted. W wait, please!
Is this the storage room where the crime scene took place? It's locked. We're going in. We're like a couple of thugs or something. Was the first on the scene the person from the church again? As expected, it's the same worshiper. And he did say he was following the victim after finding a doll with the same name. He saw the victim enter the building late at night. He then searched the premises with the art gallery staff. When they opened this storage room, they discovered the body of the victim inside it. The door was locked at the time of discovery, and the key was found inside. Oh, another locked room mystery! That's more total! But I'm starting to get bored. It's not so special anymore. What do you mean special? People have died. Let's start investigating. Yeah, sounds good. Post-cognition reveals the crime scene in slightly faded colors. The room looked vaguely hazy in my eyes, even with the rows of vivid paintings within the art gallery. The smell of paint oil that permeated the room wasn't that of the past, but the present. If even the smells from the past could be recreated, the stench of the corpse would be much more overwhelming. of a young woman. She has nails all over her body, as expected. The victim's name is Isomoe. She used the amount- The vi- Huh? But there aren't any scratches that would have been left from a struggle. And... You noticed as well. Yeah, there's a wound on the back of her head. It looks pretty deep. This may be the real cause of death. Besides the door is this window. The window juts out and is used as a vent. It doesn't appear big enough for someone to move through. Currently, it opens outwards slightly, but... There are no other suspicious traces on it. It seems impossible to enter or exit through here. instead of a doll. Why is there such a fixation on dolls? The crime scenes so far have all been abnormal, but this one's just sick and twisted. Hmm. Oh! Oh! I see. 
music. There, the other, that, or it's the maybe either one. If the why, I count. I've been, it's on, it made. That should do it for the room. Next is the window. It would be best to check outside of it. Go ahead. I'll stay here. Outside the window? All right. It's fine to inspect the window, but our buddy here really insists you do everything yourself. Huh. And my master does everything he's told, like a good little underling detective. Hilari's right. This is something I took on myself. I can't just rely on everyone else after putting on a tough front for that kid. That's why I have to do it. Or maybe Halara's just taking advantage of you. It's obvious money is that one's only motivation. Even so, I think it's the right thing to do as a professional detective. Master, being overly nice for no reason is stupid. It's why you're so deep in debt. I know, but... What are you mumbling about? Did you check the window? Oh, right. I'll do it right away. Outside the window? Could that have anything to do with the locked room? I wonder what Halara discovered. You know, I think Halara is just having fun pushing you around. I... <laughs> well... No, I... What just... I can't! I can't even put my arm through this gap! I can stick a finger in, but that's it! I thought so. Good job. Huh? Are you sure? Did you not? No, not at all. What are you doing here? Huh? Um, I, I'm not doing anything shady. I'll call the peacekeepers. Wait! I'm... <clears throat> I'm a detective. 
Well, I'm still a trainee, technically. Uh-oh. You sure it's a good idea to reveal yourself like that? I'm investigating as a detective. I've done nothing to be ashamed of. Huh? A detective? What's that? You don't know what a detective is? I guess detectives aren't that big in Kanai Ward. Must be because our fuzzhead chief is lazy. Um, well... We are special investigators for Amaterasu Corporation. We are currently investigating a case. Civilians must not interfere. Uh-huh. Oh, right. I I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, Alara. Are you sure it's okay to lie like that? I've told you before that deception is necessary to finish an investigation quickly. By the way, aren't you an employee here? There's something I'd like to ask you. Can you bring over the staff member who discovered the body from that murder case a month ago? Oh, that would be me. Perfect. Describe the events for us. I'm scared to even remember it, but if it's part of the investigation, then I have no choice. I'll leave the rest up to you. Uh, sure. Now, please tell us what happened on the day of the murder. That day, I was doing my closing procedures when someone from the church appeared. He said he wanted me to help him find someone and that he knew the person was inside the art gallery. So we looked around the premises together but didn't find anyone. According to him, there was a chance that the person he was looking for was being pursued by the nail man. I couldn't help but feel terrified when I heard that. How did you notice something was off about the storage room? The lights were on, even though they were usually off, so I went to take a look. The door was locked, so I opened it with the key I had. But I, I was afraid to go any further. So I let the church person go first and open the door while I watched from behind. And then there was a corpse. Did you touch the body? Uh, of course not. I was too afraid and froze at the entrance. What about the churchgoer? He saw what happened at the doorway and didn't go any further. Are you positive you didn't touch anything inside after unlocking the door? Yes, but the churchgoer accidentally kicked a paint can over when he opened the door. And paint spilled all over the floor. So that paint was from back then. Okay, I get the picture. Thank you. You may go now. Oh, right. That brings all the information together. It's time to resolve the case. Wait! I still have no idea what happened! Time does not wait for you. Our deadline is approaching. You hurry back to the detective agency. Huh? What about you? Worry not. When you're in trouble, say my name. Halara Nightmare shall rush to your aid. And gone. What are you gonna do, Master? We've checked everything we can. All that's left is to point out the true culprit, but... If only it were that easy! Oh, I have no clue what to do! Oh, stop being so pathetic! Why don't we go back to the detective agency for now? We might get to see Fuzzhead get executed. Oh, right! We need to help him! to hurry back before the chief gets executed. Right, let's hurry. I want to know how they'll execute him too. <laughs> <laughs>